Hello. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to introduce myself last week. I'm Edward Cullen. You're Bella. Cullen. Yes. Iako je riječ o fiktivnom junaku, Edward Cullen uspio je zavladati svijetom. Žene, muškarci, djeca i zidovi tresu se na spomen njegova imena. Na Forbesovoj listi najmoćnijih vampira svijeta zasije je na peto mjesto. Zato što ne želi seks prije braka, zato što je nevjerojatno zgodan, neviđeno romantičan, džentlmen u duši i zato što mu ne smrdi iz usta kao drakuli, već da pa će, miriši po nešpricanim jabukama. So in literature and films vampire are pretty, you know, sexual beings, but yet here in the film there's no in saga there's no sex. <laughs> I mean, I guess the whole thing and I guess the reason why a lot of people like it is because the entire, I guess the first three books are just about sustaining uh, that moment before yes. yeah, like just before too much you sustaining do. I would say. <laughs> But I guess that's the best part of a relationship in a lot of ways, like the kind of uh, the anticipation. Robert Pattinson je najmlađi od troje djece. Rođen je u Londonu. Mama mu je radila u agenciji za modele, a tata uvozio vintage automobile iz Amerike. Rob je karijeru započeo kao model, da bi ubrzo skužio kako mu se ne da živjeti od poziranja pa se prihvatio glume. Nakon kazališnih početaka ubacio se u Herija Pottera, a potom zajedno s tisuću kandidata prijavio se na audiciju za sumrak. Ostalo je povijest. Kemija je učinila svoje. Is this something you were expecting? No. <laughs> I kind of I mean I did I didn't even really set out to be an actor when I was like when I first started acting and so I just kind of I was just really lucky for ages and then got luckier and luckier and luckier. <laughs> I što sad? Tek su mu 24 godine, a već ne smije izaći iz kuće bez nekolicine tjelohranitelja. No all the time. <laughs> I try I try and avoid it. But um i mean, I think I'm coping all right. It's just, you just keep working all the time. Always remember why you started doing it in the first place. And, uh, and then hopefully everything will be all right. Eto, Rob je stvarno najnormalniji dečko iz susjedstva. Simpatičan i jednostavan. Umjetnička duša. Would you say there's any place in the world where you can walk and nobody would recognize you? Uh, Tokyo. Oh. Yeah. Tokyo, not a single person there. did. Are you sure? The yep. Japanese can be crazy about... I was just walking around everywhere, no one cared at all. <laughs> it was great. It was the first place. And also London. London is sometimes, but I mean, it's nothing compared to uh, compared to the States or, or anywhere else in Europe, really. Mm. I mean, Croatia is the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pitam se, što bi se dogodilo da inkognito sleti u Zagreb? Sve opći kaos. Za sve je kriv bestseller Stefani Majer, koja je vampira Edvarda Kalena uzdigao u nebesa opisujući ga kao najzgodnijeg, najsposobnijeg i najpažljivijeg muškarca na svijetu. Njegovi fanovi, okupljeni pod zastavom tima Edvard, kampirali su noć prije premijere pomrčine trećeg nastavka Sumraka, kako bi bili sigurni da će par na sekundu ugledati u fotkat, ja možda čak i štipnuti sirotog Petinsona. Don't you sometimes miss it? You know, some free time for yourself. I want to do, I want to have some free time in a few years. Like uh, I think when, once you have some momentum, it's so difficult to get jobs when you're when you're acting that uh, when you're getting them easily and when you can do what you want to do. I want to do it. Yeah, I want to do as many things as I want to do. Osim u glumu, Rob je zaljubljen u glazbu. To mu je druga ljubav, pa je otpjevao nekoliko pjesama za potrebe prvog sumraka. A njegov glasić, ma, slavuji su male bebe za njega. On je moja osobna vrsta heroina, kaže jedna slušateljica njegove glazbe. So how is your second love, you know, music? Um, do you have time for it? Um, not a lot, but uh, I try to. I mean, I've, I've been, I've always, I've never really stopped writing and, and, uh, and you know, trying to figure out different things. I've been learning how to play the violin. Oh, third instrument then? Yeah, 
and a, I just bought a trumpet as well recently. Did Robert play a guitar because I know he loves music as well. You can get to sing a little bit, you know. Did you get to enjoy? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I really enjoy these movies. I mean, like, um, like, uh, I mean, he didn't bring his guitar to set or anything. That would have been kind of funny. He's like sitting over them <laughs> in his white makeup. <laughs> um, yeah. Ili robili nije skristen, pitaju se medi i većina žena ovoga svijeta. Tabloidi tvrde da su bili zajedno oko godinu dana, da bi je rob nedavno napucao jer se više nije mogao nositi s njezinom učestalom depresivnošću, te da je svima obznanio da je sada slobodan i na raspolaganju za frišku ljubav. We should probably shouldn't do this, right? <laughs> yeah. Do you believe that you know you you can love two persons at the same time, two girls? I would say yeah, yeah, it's yeah. possible. I probably like I know people who love like 25 people at the same time. <laughs> are you thinking about those who are married, maybe to two persons now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I mean. It depends on the. It, it really depends on the person. I think everybody loves differently. I think. Još uvijek se ne zna hoćemo li 2011. četvrti i peti sumrak gledati u trenutno najpopularnijoj hollywoodskoj 3D verziji. Živimo u nadi jer 3D Edward zasigurno je bolji od 2D Edwarda. A do tada, long live Edward Cullen. <laughs>